Hello, this is Joe Pryor of the Virtual Real Estate Team in Oklahoma City. It's uh, end of August 2020, and I wanted to give you uh, a market update. It's been a little while since I've done that, but I want to really talk to you about what's going on in Oklahoma City. Uh, first of all, we're still in the midst of the pandemic, as we all know, uh, but Oklahoma City was on the low end of this and has stayed on the low end of this. And so the city went into phase three uh, on June 1st. And so we have had non-essential workers back for a long time, uh, at least what it seems like a long time this year that's going on forever. And the good thing about that is, is that there are still some restrictions. We have a mask ordinance. We're trying to act responsible. Numbers are staying down. And so there's nothing to trigger a fallback. Uh, into phase two. So the economy is doing well at this point. Unemployment is dropping. Uh, and also the most important thing is people are spending money. And so sales tax revenue is only off 1%. And that's very, very minor uh, at this point because I know other areas were affected even more. Now to, to real estate, real estate, how do I explain this? I've been in this business over 30 years. I've never seen anything like this in Oklahoma City, never. Uh, in the last 60 days, inventory has dropped 25%. The median price sale of a home is going up 10% every month. Uh, it's unprecedented and things are really going up in price, mainly because supply and demand has really been adjusted tremendously, even to the point if you want to buy something below $200,000, that there's less than a one month's inventory out there in that price range. Hadn't seen that in a long, long time too. So understand that if you're buying for as an owner occupant, you're in big trouble. Let me give you an example. We had an investor bought their house in 2007, wanted to sell it and buy new property. Uh, and so we put it on the market within one hour. We had eight showings that day uh, and multiple contracts sold by the end of the day over list price. This is what's going on. Now, if you're an investor, you're in better shape. And here's the reason why. I work directly with the builders and I do a lot of volume. Like one builder I build probably will sell at least 100 homes for them this year, of course, to investors. And so I have some leverage in terms of pricing. Yes, they've gone up a little bit, but I still have the leverage to keep the prices reasonable and the cash flow going. Now, added to this, and this is the other thing that's really pushing this market is low interest rates. So for instance, if you're an investor, you buy a $170,000 house and you do one discount point for $1,360 to get the rates down from 5% down to 3.625%, your cash flow is outstanding. Uh, you get your money back in one year and you have $18,540 at the end of 15 years. So we can keep our prices in line for investors. And then with these interest rates, they're unbelievable. And realize this, that owner occupants are getting like a 3% or with a little bit of, of money out, maybe 2.875% creating unprecedented buying. So the good news is this, the Oklahoma City economy is recovering, recovering rapidly. It's operating well, we're still in phase three. From the point of view of real estate, it is flying like I've never seen before. Opportunities are diminishing, but we still have some good opportunities out there if you are an investor. So love to talk to you about that and show you what we still have.